Really quick, I want to apologize at the beginning of the video and say that this was supposed to come out yesterday, but I was really lazy yesterday and didn't feel like getting up out of my fucking bed, and <laughs> and I just I just didn't bother to record that or I forgot, so I most likely forgot and either way I was really lazy anyways, so anyways we're back with another Dragon Ball Super episode review, today we're reviewing episode 120, and in this week's episode we already know what happens, you know, it's basically Universe 7 versus Universe 3, and Universe 3 consists of a bunch of robots. And although I'm not like a huge fan of Universe 3 and how they're just really a whole bunch of robots, I can appreciate the fact that they are different, you know, they're, they are different than any of the other universes that we have seen already even though they're all erased now, but they are different. I can appreciate the fact that, you know, they're trying to be different and how Toei tried to be different with at least one of the universes, but you know, it's, it's, it's cool. You know, I'm not a huge fan, which is why when the episode ended off in a cliffhanger, I wasn't a huge fan of that. And I, I, I wasn't a fan. I, I was not amused whatsoever. So, we get a, a couple of glimpses and teases of Universe 11 possibly, you know, doing something, maybe just a tiny bit. No, they don't. Do, they don't do anything. They they they, they kind of just stand around like they have been for like the past like like five weeks. <laughs> probably probably more than that to be honest. The reason why I say like five weeks because I don't know. It, it it's, I, I feel like at least Dispo would have gone out and like done something. No, Dispo doesn't even like do anything like once it once it's these last three they just don't do anything Jiren obviously isn't going to do anything because he's ridiculously powerful to the point where he's able to go toe to toe against Ultra Instinct Goku so everyone else is just unequivalent to him Dispo this, this dude is fast as hell right he's fast as hell and he doesn't do anything you know, you think he'd be able to like throw in like a, a couple of quick punches against some people, maybe not, uh, eliminate some people? No, it doesn't doesn't do any of that. <laughs> and in Topo, he kind of just stands around and doesn't do anything. Last that we saw him of do do anything was against Vegeta, and we didn't even see him fight Vegeta all that much. So, <clears throat> like, just, come on, do something else at least. So, yeah, it's the it's Universe Three. It's it's the goddamn robots. There's one of them that's like super endurance. He has a lot, he has a lot of endurance, and he's fighting you know, uh, not universe, well yeah universe seven, but he's fighting seventeen and eighteen. And the whole time uh, they're just wondering like, why why are they not getting tired? Do they ever get tired? And then Barry is like, yeah, no, they don't because they're androids. They have limitless stamina and unlimited power, and infinite key. You know that BS, right? Kind of like what we already know, uh, so yeah, we get we get that, which is interesting, I guess, because like I, I I don't know, I can always appreciate seventeen and eighteen fighting together, I guess. Uh, the whole episode is basically a Gohan episode, and you know, as a Gohan fan, for those of you who don't know, uh, I am a Gohan fan, huge Gohan fan for the longest time, and you know, seeing Gohan just kind of putting into work against these. Universe 3 robots whose name I just don't care. <laughs> I just don't care enough for their names. Um, yeah, Gohan is like, his whole thing is that he wants to be able to keep Vegeta and Goku, you know, kind of in the backside so that way they can, you know, recover up their, their stamina just, just a little bit. Especially Goku, considering the fact that only a few weeks ago did he you know, go Ultra Instinct, which used up all of his stamina, and he couldn't really do all that much, but then again, they did a lot of ass pulls with him, so it, I guess it doesn't even really matter anyways. <laughs> so, so, um, yeah, Gohan the whole time, he's trying to push back these robots, they kind of put up a little bit more of a challenge than they would have expected. And then, um, Moskal, I think that's what his name is, I'm not entirely sure, the guy of destruction for Universe 3, is like, okay, 
maybe these guys are doing a little bit better of a job than we thought they were gonna do. It's time, it's time to activate Plan X, which sounds cool, but all it really is is just the merge of three robots. And yes, they, they take three out of like the four that were left for, for of Universe 3 and merge them all into one big robot, right? Kind of looks like the peel-off machine, if, I be, if I'll be honest. And then there's a there's a guy through his staff who can he can actually communicate with the guy of destruction in universe three. His name's like Doc. His, his name's Doctor like something. It, it's a pun of pepperoni, so I'm just gonna call him that anyways because I find that hilarious. <laughs> I find that hilarious. Uh, and plus, I, I I knew what his name is. I just don't really care enough to call him by his actual pronunciation of his name so dr pepperoni pop papa papa pepperoni pepperoni i don't i don't know Pe the, the dude right the dude with the staff he can communicate with moscow and the god of destruction for universe three uh he's telling you know obviously the three robots to merge into one whose name is koichi not I'm not, I'm, not even, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name either. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name. Uh, why do all these characters have such almost stupid names that are almost hard to pronounce unless you actually, you know, speak in a native language of Japanese? But anyways, they they merge up together. Obviously, they're stronger, they're faster, they're more durable. Gohan's being pushed back. And then Goku and Vegeta jump in, and they're like, "Yeah, I." Goku's like, "Yeah, I covered up some of my stamina. Yeah, that's enough for me to go Super Saiyan Blue." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, that's." You only said a little bit of stamina. I don't know if that's enough to go Super Saiyan Blue, but uh, sure, sure, because you're Goku, that's cool. So, anyways. Vegeta and Goku, they step in, they go Super Saiyan Blue, and they charge up a Gallic Gun and the Kamehameha, they shoot it at the guy. Uh, and then Gohan uses the diversion in the, that they made to charge up his own Kamehameha, and he fires it at the, all, all the remaining fighters, right? Which is actually a reused animation, if you didn't know. <laughs> or at least it looks like reused animation. Uh, so, yeah, they tease that they did get knocked off but they didn't get knocked off they somehow didn't get eliminated from the, the stage and that's when they end off a, a cliffhanger of basically the doctor dr pepperoni pepperoni whatever his stupid name is right he's like oh i didn't want to resort to this but i guess i'm going to have to now because i i don't want to lose even though it may cost my life yeah <laughs> It, it sounds like I'm not a huge fan of the episode, and I apologize if I'm like giving off that expression. But the the, the thing is, is the reason why I'm not a fan of this cliffhanger, even though it probably it's probably one of the more well done, one of the better cliffhangers that they've done. Um, the reason why I'm just like not a not a fan of the ending is because literally this should have just been what last week was with Universe Four. Like, it should have just been Universe 7 versus Universe 3. Universe 3 gets eliminated, and then at the end of the episode, they they leave off with the cliffhanger of them getting ready to fight, you know, Universe 11. And Universe uh, 11 and Universe 7 fight in episode 121. And it's like, no, they didn't do that. And I don't know why they didn't do it, but they didn't do it. And I just felt like that would have been done a lot better, and we would have ended this arc a lot faster. But no, they wanted to... They want to continue it on, just st stuff. I I don't know. I don't know. But just the animation was really good. Art style is obviously really good with the with the design of the characters for Universe Three. I want to say that it looks kind of like a Toriyama slash Toyotaro kind of design look for the characters, which they which either or might have actually done. The, the design for the characters, but I, I have no idea. So overall, the episode 
way better than last week. Way, 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 way better than last week. Last week was just bad in every sense of the way. You know, just didn't, it didn't really need to happen. If anything, I feel like it would have been a lot better if they did like a Battle Royale style that it could have been where they, Universe 3, Universe 4, create an alliance and they team up together to go against Universe 7. Now I feel like that would have been a little bit better and episode 120 could have been Universe 11 against Universe 7, right? They could have done it like that, but no, they, they didn't do it like that, so whatever. Uh, I have nothing else really to say about the episode other than it's just... I, I You can watch it, I guess, because it's not the, the worst thing I've seen in this arc. If anything, last week is the worst thing that I've seen in this arc. That and a couple other stuff, maybe. But other than that, it's kind of whatever. It's it's not really that big of a deal. But I just wish that they did, they didn't end it off with the cliffhanger like they did with Universe Three not getting eliminated. But whatever. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on push notifications so that way you never miss a new video. And yeah, hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'm out.